And now I have to add that it's very important to understand what she believed, what she had faith in. And when it comes to our faith, it's important to understand the object, what our faith is attached to. Think about it for a minute. Simply exercising belief in just anything is not the work of God, is it? Just believing stuff doesn't make you right with God. Being right with Him is not just a matter of believing things. You can be a person of faith and yet have nothing to do with the God of the Bible. There are sincere Muslims, Mormons, atheists, and Hindus in the world. Like us, they exercise faith in something, don't they? There, there's a faith there. There's a belief there. What our faith is in is crucial. So Rahab wasn't just saved because she was a spiritual woman who believed in supernatural things. There was something very specific that she believed. Look at verse 11. This is like the, the pinnacle of the chapter, I think. I've read this verse so many times this week, and it just got sweeter every time I saw it. She says, As soon as we heard these things, our hearts melted. Neither did there remain any more courage in anyone because of you. I'm going to mess this up, but listen. She then says, Yehovah Elohim, Elohim Shemeim Ma'al Eretz. The God, the Lord your God, He's God in heaven above and in earth beneath. That was the Hebrew that I butchered there. But that's what she believed. That's what she declares to these men. The Lord your God, Jehovah, He's Elohim. He is God over heaven and He's God over earth. She believed in the supremacy of Jehovah. You see it right there. That wasn't something they taught her. That was something she had in her heart when they showed up. And I would submit to you tonight that that faith is what justified her. That's why she was right in God's sight. It says that she believed God. This is what James tells us. And listen, God credited it to her for righteousness, just like Abraham. And when I wrote that, I had to pause for a minute and think, man, that's pretty bold to compare Abraham the patriarch, the father of the Hebrews, with a pagan prostitute. It's a pretty bold comparison to make, but it's exactly what James does. Open to James chapter 2. Um, I want you to read this with me. I'm going to start in verse 21. James says, Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac his son on the altar? Do you see that faith was working together with his works? And by works, faith was made perfect. And the scripture was fulfilled, which says Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. You see then that a man is justified by works and not by faith only. Look at the beginning of verse 25. See the word there? Likewise. Likewise. And then he goes on to talk about Rahab. Rahab's justification was just like Abraham's. It's the comparison that James is making here. They both believed God, and God credited it to them for righteousness.